Uh, my role as Director of Health and Safety within the College is to overall ensure the College complies with its legal requirements for health and safety legislation. My other remit is to ensure that we have a suitable health and safety policy, which is then supported by a framework, a management framework document, as well as a health and safety management plan. The Health and Safety Department has a three-tier remit. First, obviously, we're here for providing guidance and advice and making sure that management, the council, staff and students are fully aware of their safety responsibilities, know how to act, know what to do. We also have a function to train and ensure that there is competence and suitable information out there for people. And our third aim is to ensure that we monitor and ensure compliance of the college. Within the college, overall, the council is responsible for health and safety. That, that day-to-day -day duty is then passed down to the principal. The principal then has day-to-day -day responsibility for making sure that safety is carried out across the site. That then passes down the college management chain, right down the, the management chain to your students and staff. Under the Fire Safety Order, we are designated as the competent persons, and our job is to ensure that all members of staff are safe in their environment. The fire section offers various services to the college and the building users themselves. Uh, we offer fire safety training, we carry out fire risk assessments, uh, we can help devise fire strategies for existing buildings and we can also offer fire safety design advice and guidance both on a prescriptive method but also uh, on a performance based approach. During fire marshal training we cover the nature of fire, fire risk assessment, we look at control measures, we look at the use of firefighting equipment and types of evacuation procedures to carry out. The role of the fire marshal is to act as the eyes and ears of the fire safety department. They work in a building, they see the problems that occur there on a daily basis and they can report those to us or if necessary to the state's help desk where they can rectify any building faults. And in the event of a fire evacuation, so it's down to them to make sure that the area that they've been assigned to is cleared and that all persons in that area go to the assembly point. We also uh, attend project working group meetings designed for refurbishing buildings, uh, both halls and residence and also the academic buildings. And our job is primarily to give best advice and recommendations so that any work that's carried out is carried out safely and effectively and complies with the statutory regulations in force. We provide um, guidance and advice to all college staff who work in laboratories and workshops on the hazards uh, and the risks uh, involved in their activities. So, um, for instance, we provide um, guidance and advice on handling of hazardous substances. Uh, we aim to provide guidance on writing risk assessments, uh, fulfilling regulatory requirements, um, and also advice and guidance on using substances, disposing of them, and also uh, the transport and, and receipt of uh, substances. But we also provide health and safety uh, training uh, sessions. Particularly, we provide training uh, on working with uh, hazardous chemical substances, working with biological and genetically modified material, uh, working with ionizing radiation uh, sources and material, non-ionising radiation sources and material and also any other laboratory or workshop based um, hazards and activities uh, we can provide uh, safety training courses for them as well. Accidents are normally uh, reported to us via the accident report form. In some cases they should be telephoned uh, to us immediately if they're serious. We work with the departmental safety coordinators uh, to ensure the root causes for these accidents and incidents are identified and we aim to provide solutions to resolve those uh, root causes and to ensure that the accidents uh, and incidents do not occur again. I help departments and schools to plan and, and conduct their local inspections. My help and support uh, is through providing information and guidance notes and self-inspection checklist. I look at their action plans and I advise them on appropriate actions and the time scales for those actions. Once they complete their action plans, again, I'll help them to prepare the performance reports so they can assess their performance level in terms of how they are doing with their health and safety. And one of my responsibilities is to design and produce 
uh, easy, understandable health and safety information, leaflets, handbooks, posters and folders. This can be for students as well as for um, Queen Mary staff. The Estates Residence and Offices section looks after the needs of the Estates Department, all of the main offices and the small offices within the college and the residences. We look after student residences and the associated functions with the SCS Department and we provide support, uh, health and safety advice and guidance for all of the functions within the college. Uh, we also look after all of the residences and all of the office staff. We would make sure that risk assessments are in place that the functions run smoothly from a health and safety point of view, making sure that they've been trained in the various functions that need to be trained in um, and just making sure that everything is safe and runs smoothly. And also from a state's point of view, we make sure that the contractors are working safely, the project working groups are manned by people with a safety knowledge who can then make sure that the college are fulfilling its legal requirements in relation to health and safety legislation. The training services that we provide are two courses recognised by IOSH, which is the Institute of Safety and Health, and that is the one-day working safely course and the five-day managing safely course. We also run a number of shorter courses in relation to health and safety, and we can tailor courses if there is a specific need. Here at Queen Mary University, I manage the Occupational Health Service, which is concerned with the management of health in the workplace, maintaining health, promoting health and preventing ill health. Most of our contact is with staff. The exception to that is medical and dental students with whom we have quite a lot of contact for their infectious disease type work. Health surveillance can be provided for people who are exposed to certain substances to ensure that's not doing them any harm. When people first start to work at the university, they undergo pre-employment health screening with us. And we also see people, if they've been away from work for any reason, through illness and injury, in order to rehabilitate them, help them back to work. And we can also see staff when they're due to go overseas, for instance, on business, to ensure that there are good health arrangements in place for them. We're also involved in helping people to stay well while sitting at a computer all day, as many of us know that can lead to all sorts of musculoskeletal problems and so we're involved with that as well. The Health and Safety website is, is very well publicised. We have information on the college website. We're physically based on site. We do have representation in all departments with safety coordinators. So every single department does have a link in with the health and safety team to make sure the information is passed out across the whole of the college.